know, I started cooking when I was uh, 14, so a few years ago. I worked in two great restaurants in France, one was uh, La Tour d'Argent and uh, for Joël Robuchon for four and a half years, Joël Robuchon, three star Michelin, Tour d'Argent, three star Michelin. And uh, after that, I decided to come to um, Australia. Um, that was 20 years ago. And I've been in Australia since, and uh, I'm very happy. This is my third restaurant. So I did King's Cross, Key, and here, been along in the, in the Sydney Opera House, and it's been 11 years now. Oh, the building is amazing. And maybe, you know, a little bit of the cooking and, and the whole experience. You know, we try to give the people a very special experience. We, we try to push yourself every year to be better. I get a highlight when I see my restaurant full and when I see my guys when I arrive this morning at 6 a.m. they're already all working. It's a highlight of my day, you know, there's some keen people. For me, highlight is much more than a, than a trophy you win. What I'm trying to do with uh, the menu I'm going to do in the masterclass and the degustation menu, it's being inspired by what I would like to eat when I'm on holiday in Hamilton Island at Qualia, yeah. It's so close to Sydney, Melbourne, and it's such a beautiful place. The people care, the accommodation, uh, when I say six star, they are six star, not five star, and uh, the food is great. And uh, I was lucky enough, they asked me, um, uh, would you be interested to do a, a master class and a degustation dinner during the Great Barrier Feast? And uh, I said, absolutely. It's amazing, you know, you're going to a place and you are going to cook for people who actually book to be there with you. And you can't take that for granted. When, when I thought about us, what sort of dish will really showcase a beautiful resort and the Queensland and the, the sun and and I thought the, the dish with the scallops we do at the restaurant so it's just beautiful seal scallops on the bed of a watercress puree lemon emulsion finely crispy potato galette and sterling caviar so to do this dish what you need of course never compromise with the quality of the scallops the scallops are not fresh, you're not happy with it, just don't do the dish. So what you need is a very hot pan, a touch of um, olive oil, and you want it very hot. You don't want to overcook your scallops, you want them to be nicely sealed. I took them out of the fridge about 20 minutes ago and they will not be cold in the middle, a very important point. At the same time, I've got my beautiful watercress puree, so nice and green, it will look terrific in this white plate. I'm going to heat it up. And a little tip, I'm not supposed to tell you that, but while I add to my watercress, a touch of beurre noisette. What's beurre noisette? Noisette in French, hazelnut. And I would put a touch of this hazelnut butter into my watercress puree. I'm going to put a touch of salt on each scallops. I'm going to put into my watercress my touch of bernoisette. I'm only talking about this half a spoon. Huh? At the same time, beautiful, thin, crispy potato galette we made half an hour ago, beautiful. And how am I going to eat it up? Very simple, I just put it with my scallops. Okay, so now I've got my caviar, beautiful caviar, stealing caviar from Sacramento in California. And as we know, you can't get any wild caviar in Australia because it's banned. The reason for it is there is no more wild estrogen. But I need to come back to my scallops. Firstly, I'm going to take my potato galette because I don't want it to burn. And my scallops are ready. Look at that. Beautiful color. The worst thing you can do with this dish is overcooking the scallops. One of the great tips to know if your scallops is perfectly cooked is just touching it. So now I'm going to finish my emulsion. This is lemon juice and water. And what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to use only the, the foam. So you just have to be patient. And what you want to get is this emulsion you can see here. Perfect. What I'm going to do is put this beautiful watercress into my plate. I'm going to put my scallops nicely around. Look at that. So here we go, my lemon foam. Look at that, so light. To make sure it's nice and set. I'm going to put my potato galette. 
And what I'm going to do now, be very generous with my caviar, make a little kernel out of it, and I just put it on the plate. And to finish it off, because these beautiful flowers, edible flowers, of course, going around the dish. That's one of the dishes we're going to have at the Great Barrier Feast.